It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Y Valley Brewery and it's a bottle of the Hop Father, described as a smooth bodied red ale coming in at 3.9% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap, black bottle cap then. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Now I'm gonna let you guys into a little secret. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. When I worked as a pub manager, oh look at this, look at the smoke. When I worked as a pub manager in Cowbridge, this was one of our favorite beers in the pub. For a 3.9% ABV beer, it was probably my beer of choice. We, we rotated four guest ales on the bar and I always look to get this on the bar because it tasted fantastic. And after work, I used to do a shift that was like a one o'clock in the afternoon till seven o'clock on a Sunday. When I used to finish at seven o'clock on a Sunday, of course, you just want a beer. You want to chill out, have a beer. It's been a busy day. You've served loads of Sunday lunches and you want something to relax with, yeah? So if this was on, which it probably went on every third week so it was quite a pop and as soon as it went on it kind of it flew out it was a big seller so yeah it was my beer of choice basically to drink 3.9 percent you can have a pint of it you can drive home i had about an eight mile drive nine mile drive yeah it was just a really decent beer so what i'm trying to get at here is i'm looking forward to seeing what it tastes like in the bottle um it's quite carbonated it's, it's a three finger Big foamy off-white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. Look at that. It is a lovely looking red ale. Let's get the aroma then. Yeah, it's it's very, very similar. I'm just seeing if their beers are pasteurized in the bottle. I'm, I don't think it's bottle conditioned just by looking at it. I don't think it is, and it's very close. It's very close to the cask version. Citrusy, grapefruit aromas. A little bit of orange peel. Nice bit of spice, nice biscuity malts coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's not far off. It's it's a good beer. It's a very good beer. Some lemon, grapefruit, citrus coming through, some pine needle, some bitterness on the back end, there's some nice biscuity malts to begin with. But there's something about it on cask. On cask, this is absolutely tremendous. It's a stoner crow's beer. It's not quite there in the bottle. It's not quite there. And I think it's down to the fact that it's not a bottle conditioned beer. Uh, cask, of course, cask conditioned beers, they're alive, they're living, they're breathing. You can dry hop a cask as well if you want to. I've absolutely seen it done in my time. I'm not sure if Y Valley do it. But it just seems just a bit more pokey. It's just got a little bit more to it on cask. But in the bottle, I mean, it's still a lovely, lovely beer. It's just pasteurized. It's just, it's just, it's had something taken away from it. And it was really interesting for me to be able to 
because I drunk it often in cask. You can when you when you find a beer that you really like, you can somehow memorize what that flavor is and what you expect from the beer, and and you look forward to trying it. When you order the pint of beer and you really want to try, you really want to drink it. You look forward to, to, to getting that beer in your hand and, and drinking it. So I have a memory of what it tasted like on cask and it's just shy of, of what it is on cask. It, there's some lovely flavours going on. You've got a little bit of biscuity malt breadiness coming through. Um, the, the carbonation's nice. It's, it's obviously more, it's, it's, it's forced carbonated in the bottle. That might have something to do with it. But there's a, just a, a slight kind of metallic-y flavour in there that you don't get from the cask. Citrusy, bitter, grapefruity flavours, lemon flavour there. Touch of licorice maybe. I'm going to give it a rating. First of all I want to mention the hops in the beer. It is Golding's UK Chinook hops, Jester hops, and yeah, that, that's it. And some crystal malted barley, some chocolate malted barley to give it some colour. It's a lovely beer, the Hop Father by Y Valley Brewery. I'm going to do something I've never done here on the channel before. Um, I'm going to rate the cask without drinking it in front of you, and then I'm going to rate the bottle because I've talked so much about the cask. Um, I think it's only fair. So. The cask version of this, if you see it out and about, is a fantastic Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It is a wonderful beer. In the bottle, it's a 7. It's a 7 out of 10. So it's just a couple of marks shy of being that great beer. Maybe Y Valley Brewery might look into bottle conditioning a bit. I don't know, maybe that's possible. Maybe that will have a little bit of a difference with the, with this beer. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. Cask versus bottle. Without trying a cask. 7 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.